At the 2022 FIFA World Cup, Kylian Mbappe, who currently plays for Team France, won the Golden Boot Award with eight goals and set the record for most goals scored in World Cup finals. The 24-year-old striker is also reportedly the highest paid footballer in the world, so you can already guess that the kid is living in luxury. It's said that the athlete owns a 6,400 square foot split level duplex in the most pricey area of Paris, France, with views of the Eiffel Tower no less. Before moving into his home, Killian lived at the famous Royal Monceau Hotel in Paris, a five-star establishment with high-class amenities near the Arc de Triomphe. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Born and bred in Paris, Kylian Mbappe has strong ties to the capital, but where he grew up might not be what you expected of him. Kylian was brought up in a tower block in the deprived Paris suburb of Bondy, where those who still live there are extremely proud of him and his success. Despite the football star now earning a reported £650,000 a week and owning a multi-million dollar flat in the poshest area of Paris, Bondi residents still consider Mbappe one of their own. One of them is Elmire Florimond, a woman in her 60s who still lives in the apartment directly below Killian's former family home, where he lived until he was 10. She said that you could hear thud 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 all the time because he was constantly kicking his football around his bedroom. And that bedroom was right above her son's room. She added, Gillian's dad was a football trainer and he would follow him around everywhere. He loved football. Mrs. Florimond has lived in her flat overlooking A.S. Bondi's Leo Lagrange Stadium for almost 30 years, and Killian didn't forget about her. She also said, A few years ago, he sent tickets for my family to see a match at PSG and met with them and posed for photos after the match. Now you can find the star footballer's face on a 100-foot poster on a residential tower block nearby, with a slogan that means, in French, the town where anything is possible. While inspiring, it's a suburb where life is very hard. When Killian was six years old, he witnessed the infamous 2005 riots where upset youth attacked cars, police, and vandalized buildings while protesting against police harassment in this area. Bondi still remains deeply troubled. And while it's only a short distance from the center of Paris, it feels like a completely different world. The unemployment rate is double the national average, and it's part of the scene St. Denis 93rd arrondissement, which has earned a reputation for sky-high crime rates, including violence. Killian's dad Willifred was born in Cameroon, and in France he was a respected football coach for AS Bondi, where Killian began playing at the age of five. Considering both of his parents had sports backgrounds, they encouraged him to work hard on his talent, which led to Killian being checked out by some of the world's top football clubs while still in school. Killian went on to win the 2018 World Cup with France and becoming the second team to score in a World Cup final while he was begged not to quiz Paris Saint-Germain for Real Madrid earlier this summer. That being said, Mbappe will continue living in his home of Paris, France. But his living situation, well, that has changed drastically since those early days. Being the highest paid footballer right now, Killian has the home to match his success. A luxury duplex flat at the top of a building in one of the most upper class residential areas of Paris, France, called Neuilly sur Seine. It's located in the 16th borough of the city and boasts an amazing view of the Eiffel Tower, which you can also spot from the unit's impressive rooftop terrace. While Mbappe is quite private about his home life, he does give glimpses of his space on social media from time to time, where he's lived for about four years. We can see the lavish flat has a sleek, curved, glass-railed staircase connecting the floors in Killian's home, which he posed on for Instagram in the past. The modern-looking abode also has plenty of windows and soaring ceilings, letting in a ton of natural light. His home is reportedly around 6,400 square feet of space and 12 bedrooms, as well as multiple baths. If the views of the Eiffel Tower aren't enough, you can also see the Champ de Mars and other highlights of Paris from Killian's flat. 
The flat has two outdoor spaces. One is a terrace overlooking the Eiffel Tower, and then the home's rooftop deck, which is seriously impressive. Not only can you see what feels like the entire French capital, there's also a bar up here, as well as a jacuzzi, making it a great space to entertain. Other features of Killian's home include a library, a gym, and a Turkish bath. Well, it's also said that he has a basketball court somewhere else on the property. Furthermore, his home is ideally located, only a few minutes from the stunning Parc de Princes. Reports suggest that the striker pays over $40,000 per month for the path, and his family lives there with him considering there's so much space. Allegedly, Mbappe also has a property in Paris worth nearly $10 million, another family house in Monaco, but not much else is known about those places or if that's even true. When Killian needs to travel, he also does so in style as you might expect. He runs the modern corporate private jet, the Challenger 350, at a reported 7K per hour to get around the globe. Blair initially requested the private plane for 50 hours a year as part of his contract demands for PSG in 2018, but he didn't get it because he's probably paid enough money to cover trip expenses out of pocket. Killian's jet use is widely followed as well because trips to Liverpool at the beginning of the 2022 season sparked a lot of speculation about the player's possible transfer. Now, before we wrap up this house tour, let's see where the football star used to live. Prior to scooping up his luxurious duplex in Paris, Mbappe stayed at the famed five-star hotel, Royal Monceau in the heart of the city, close to the Arc de Triomphe. At the Royal Monceau, guests and long-term guests, which Killian would have been considered, had access to a wide range of upper-class amenities. There was a stunning spa, which was designed in a white temple style and spanned 1,500 square meters with a 23 meter swimming pool full of natural light at its center. The hotel is also full of contemporary art with an elegant bookstore, art gallery, and private art collection of over 300 works. There was also a private movie theater to enjoy and more than one gourmet restaurant on site. All of the rooms in the Royal Monceau were designed with a Parisian chic style in mind and contemporary furnishings for the most part, blended with warm colors and details throughout. While living here, it's assumed that Killian lived in one of the suites, and there were multiple types of suites to choose from. One of the more common suites, for instance, sported one bedroom, one bathroom, and one living and dining area, as well as an office desk, walk-in closet, and handcrafted modern furniture. There was also features like unlimited access to the spa included, and a dedicated personal butler who's on call for you 24 7. Now some of the larger suites, including what's called the prestige suite here, had all of those spaces plus more. I'm gonna guess that Mbappe stayed in one like this, because there was a kitchen area, a workspace, and home cinema all in the comfort of your own unit. The interiors were modern but also blended with a 40s and 50s French style. The room's description said, in this exceptional suite you can live just like a Parisian while enjoying the luxury services of a prestigious French palace. Five units in this category are available at the hotel. Either way, we can see that Kylian Mbappe was living in luxury, and it's said that his team was funding his stay here. Since we've now checked out the star footballer's living situation in Paris, or what we know about it, as well as his former homes, that's going to conclude today's video. After looking at those luxury abodes, what did you think? And before we go, answer me this. If you were a star soccer player, what do you think your favorite perk would be? Or what would you request to be paid for by your team? A private jet, living in a hotel, you name it. Let me know your thoughts down in that comment section. Otherwise, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.